Hey guys, it's Jesus Modder of Distant Gamers, and today I wanted to bring a Cinema 4D tutorial. It's uh, something pretty easy to do, but I found out that a lot of people do not know how to do it. So I figured I'll make a quick one here for you, and I'll also include a note. <clears throat> I've had a lot of people asking for um, where to download Cinema 4D. I promise, promise, promise I will have one up either tomorrow, 1.14.11, or sometime over the weekend it will be get done um, I, I'm gonna I don't have the old download links so I'm just gonna upload my own version of it um, and I'll, I'll post that as soon as I have it done but um, let's go on into this uh, the tutorial I have for you today is a lot of people don't know how to uh, do the selection of the spears and light them up so I, um, I did a quick one and rendered it out um, <clears throat> You know, it's pretty cool. We've got a nice lighting effect on, effect on the floor and the reflection from the other colors on each object. And the yellow one down there is definitely not on the ground. But, okay. We're going to head on. I'm going to go to New. Let's begin. I'm just going to apply my render settings. i, I got to figure out how to get that all time. But, you know, it is what it is. Set it active. There we go. Actually, what I'm going to do ahead of time while I'm here, we're going to be using global illumination. So make sure that you turn global illumination on and make sure you go to uh, irradiance cache file and uncheck auto save. Alright. So, obviously, we're going to open up a sphere. Let's get the camera at a better angle. There we go. Okay then, I think we're ready. Uh, first thing you're what you're going to want to do is I'm going to raise my segments to about 30 just to give it a nicer touch. Um, and from here we're just going to hit, you can either click here, hit C on the keyboard, whichever you prefer to make the object editable. Once we're there we're going to go in and make our materials. So um, I'm just going to make one material for now, or two materials, my bad. <clears throat> so we'll open up the first one and click the color tab and make it kind of grayish. That should be good. And you're going to make the brightness 300. It's up there. Then you're going to click down at uh, actually reflection. I'm just going to do about uh, 20 on brightness. Actually, I should probably turn it on first. There you go. And the texture I'm going to do for now. I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. <clears throat> and the mix strength at 20. That looks good. So we're going to go on and just drop that on there. And there's... Give it a second. Uh, I forgot I have global illumination. As you'll notice, this laptop's only single core. You're not going to see anything at first, most likely. Because there's no floor. So if you click up your second material, go to color, you're going to want to make this white. Leave the brightness at 100. Go to the luminance, check that on. Uh, let's just make it a light blue, for example. Okay. And your brightness is going to be 300. Oh, excuse me. There you go. Close that out. Now, uh, <clears throat> this is really actually easy. You're going to go to, you're going to click your polygon tool and hit selection, ring selection. So basically, you can just look at your top, click once, shift, and click a, a larger area. And then you can rotate around and do that for this other side. Shift, click, click. Okay. Oops. Let's rotate back up here. And we'll put one in the middle. Oops, not right there. So shift, click, click. And there you go. And then you're just going to right click our material and hit apply. And I'm going to switch back to the model tool. And if you render it, it should come out already because we already have. Actually, it won't because I don't have a floor. 
then you're going to set out a floor and it looks like it's already in a decent position I'm not too yeah here I'll raise the object up a little bit or the floor down I guess <clears throat> alright you'll come up uh, do a quick render out <sighs> And as you see already, before it's done, it kind of creates a nice effect on the floor. Wow, my quad core is really slow. Just saying. Or a single core, not quad. I wish I had a quad. And you'll see you're pretty much done already. It leaves a little ring effect on the floor, and the lighting. It looks really clean and nice. I can't complain. And you know, you can basically just drag them down, copy it, move it back, maybe rotate it a little bit, and create one more. It's going to randomly rotate that one. Just going to slap that over there. Kind of looks like I mirrored it just about. Now I'm going to go on and create two more materials. Actually, I'm just going to click material one and copy it twice. Go to luminance and just change the color. It'll make things nice and easy. <clears throat> so we're going to do a yellow and let's do a red. Why not? What you can do here is just a uh, spear and change the material to. Let's do the yellow one here and on the other sphere change material to material 3 the red and render out this will take just a second and then we'll be on our way it scared me for a second I thought I said I wasn't recording <laughs> So you can see the colors are kind of reflecting off of each other. The white dot is where there is a spot of light. Every white dot out there is on here. So it's kind of cool uh, watching glo global illumination render. Although it would be much nicer if I had a faster computer. Which I'm actually saving up to get a, <clears throat> a quad core. I know it's not the best but it will definitely help out my render times which are generally really bad. Um, but yeah, here we go. You can see the reflection from each color on the other objects, and it's just overall really beautiful looking. I cannot describe it in any other way. It's it's just amazing. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and this is Jesus Modder Vincent Gamers. Uh, <clears throat> please thumbs up, like it twice, one for good luck and one so I can see a green plus one, and subscribe for more tutorials and a lot of other videos. Uh, please comment for any requests, and that's pretty much it. Have a nice night, guys.